In the S-Class today, we replace the front composite brake disc. But your first step takes place in the engine compartment. In the bleed reservoir, check the fluid level and vacuum off some liquid. This way you avoid the reservoir overflowing when the piston is pushed back. Raise the vehicle so the wheels are free. Never lift the axle with a transmission jack over the disc or bring it into the neutral body shell position. Otherwise, it may cause damage to the disc. First, remove the whole wheel. Always check the tires for damage. Then it's onto the brake linings. With the left brake caliper, you can start with the two retaining pins. Tap them out with a punch in order to remove the retaining spring. By the way, on the passenger side, there are additional plugs that you must first disconnect. Now take both brake pads out of the caliper. Push back the piston using a resetting device. Now undo and remove the two brake caliper screws at the back. Then release the brake caliper and hang it aside. However, make sure that it doesn't hang on the brake hose. Then remove the worn composite brake disc. Once done, degrease the contact surface of the wheel hub. Then clean the surface with a wire brush. Then you need this high temperature grease. After a further round of degreasing, apply grease around the centering collar on the hub but only there. Be sure not to apply it to the entire wheel hub. When dealing with composite brake discs, you must observe the following. Avoid turning the steering knuckle against the steering resistance by pressing the brake disc. Also avoid hitting the brake disc and avoid knocking with metal objects. Handle the brake disc at the friction ring, not at the barrel. Store the brake disc in a dry place. Here you see the proper handling of the brake disc. Attach the new composite brake disc with 10 Newton meters of torque. Always use new screws for mounting the caliper. And always make sure of a fixed installation of the brake linings. Tighten the self-locking screws of the caliper at the knuckle in two stages. 
first with 150 Newton meters, then at an angle of 45 degrees. Before you install the brake pads, clean the lining slots with a wire brush. Reconnect the retaining springs and fix them with the two retaining pins. Please refer to the instructions for the installation of the brake pad wear sensors on the right side. Now install the whole wheel. Tighten the wheel nuts with 150 Newton meters of torque. Done. If necessary, fill the reservoir with brake fluid again.